Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the paper improved non-local means based on pre-classification and invariant block matching. In this paper, they have focused on improving the denoising performance of NLM where they have concentrated on finding reliable candidate sets. Though previous methods have adapted to provide better candidates or weighted averaging, our approach is unique in that it exploits moment invariance in pre-selection and RIBM in filtering process. This gives more reliable clustering results due to the invariant under noise characteristics of hue moment invariance. On this basis, RIBM rotational invariant block matching provides the rotation invariant weight calculation within each cluster. In this paper, we propose to improve NLM by integrating Gaussian blur clustering rotationally invariant block matching into the NLM framework. Let's discuss on data flow diagram. Consider an image and add Gaussian noise to it and you have to estimate the noise parameters using MSE and PSNR. Then subject the Gaussian noise image to Gaussian filtering algorithm and then convert the images into patches. Hereafter you will be proceeding only with the patches. For each of the patches converted, you have to calculate hue moment features and store it in a mat file. And then you have to provide that mat file to this k-means clustering algorithm. This k-means clustering algorithm will cluster the patches into classes. That is, the patch features are clustered here. This is the pre-classification referred in the paper. And now you have to get the original noisy image to clusters using this pre-classification as a lookup table and then subject it to RIBM that is rotation invariant block matching and calculate the weighted average method which is always used in NLM and finally you will be getting a denoised image and this denoised image is subjected to analysis such as MSE, PSNR and SSIM where MSE stands for mean squared error PSNR for peak signal to noise ratio and SSIM for structural similarity index and this analysis is carried out for original image and denoised image. Now let's see the execution of the algorithm. To execute the program select main file and press run file. This is a guide designed to provide the results. Select an image from the images folder you can select any one of the image. I am se selecting Lena image. Then add Gaussian noise to it. I am adding 0 0.01. You can uh, use any of these sigma levels. Now I am applying Gaussian filtering. This is the Gaussian filtered image. The result is a blurred image. You have to convert into patches. These are the patches. We have converted the images into 16 patches and then extract moment invariant features from all the 16 patches. This is the moment invariant for all the patches. Moment invariant is a 7 dimensional vector so we will be having 7 columns and the 7 columns is done for every 16 patches and then we do k-means clustering. Now each of the 16 patches are clustered as class 1 class 3 and uh, up to 4 classes we have introduced so your cluster falls in any one of the category either class 1 2 or 3 or 4 then you will be applying RIBM denoising this will take some time in the meantime this is the MSE and PSNR value which we have estimated after adding noise this MSE and PSNR is calculated for original image and the noisy image now as a result I have to uh, get an MSE which is which have a reduced value than original MSE and you have to obtain a PSNR which has a greater value than the described PSNR and here is the result described here and you may note the changes here the MSE is reduced and PSNR is increased this is the structural similarity index value these parameters are calculated for original image and the denoised image and from the above method we are very clear that these, res these results are only based on the moment invariant and the pre-classification 
now you may note the exact role played by pre-classification this algorithm can effectively reconstruct even finer details and at the same time introduce fewer artifacts than other methods thank you